a cause that's really close to our hearts here and at The Rock is mental health, particularly men's mental health in this country. For people who are struggling out there at the moment, what would you say? It's very important to have someone to speak to, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's very important to not be guarded and it's very important to put behind what you consider yourself to be. That openness, you know, as an artist, if you don't have openness, then you're not receiving any communication from the collective consciousness for you to be able to hopefully skillfully present and inspire others with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's that openness, I think, that makes an artist special. And it's like anything else, you know, mental health can be dealt with properly, given the right guidance and given the right people. And, and you know, obviously, if they don't want to seek therapy, then at least seek someone they trust that yeah. they can talk to deeply. And another area that we see that in really strongly is in the industry that you exist in, the music industry. We lose legends all the time under really tragic circumstances, one of which recently was Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters. Um, I wondered what your thoughts were on that, because I know our, uh, over at The Rock people took that really hard. Taylor was a sweetheart. We toured together in 2007 and 2008 with the Foo Fighters. I was with them for months and we were together all the time having dinners and whatnot and I actually saw Taylor a few months be before his passing and uh, it really broke my heart mm. and um, it does happen too much in our industry you know it's, it's volatile in that sense and, and um, I've seen this happen so many times with people around me Chris mm. Cornell passed it really 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 hurt me in dreams until my death I will It's always tough. It's always tough seeing these beautiful lights diminished. But I think that is why the type of work that you do with your music, with your art, and allowing other people to tap into that, you know, the amount of people who have felt healing and catharsis through your lyrics and now through your artwork and being able to listen to music at the same time. I mean, that's, that sort of connectivity is all we can hope for to battle that sort of thing. It, it really is, and I love that. I love it when someone tells me a personal story of of how, whether it's System of a Down or my music or, or any anything that I've worked on that has impacted them in a positive way, you know, like I, I hear these stories all the time and, and it is the best thing, you yeah. know, it just because it makes you as an artist feel more valid as well. Totally. You know, I mean, you're, on, you're in your world creating this crazy shit that you're putting <laughs> out and you have no, I mean, you, you know, you get the thumbs up and all that bullshit, but all that is bullshit, right? In the real world, there's people suffering and, and if if your music can do, or, or your art, or, or whatever you do as, a, as, as an occupation can help someone and you feel that, you get that feedback from them, it's the most gratifying That's thing. That's going to be the best the reward most gratifying ever. Thing. It is. <laughs> it really is.